Hello everyone and welcome to the arena. I am Carl Drock, the voice of the arena. And the demo car enters the arena. A man who is very hurt, so to speak, by the heads of TPGW, but that is not here nor there. He is no longer in the championship tournament, though I hear. He is vying for a spot in the Daggerfall Rumble. And of course, Chris Jericho, the Demogod, the Alpha. The Champion, as some put it. This man is certainly no milk drinker, that is for sure. Chris Jericho making his way down to the ring now. Here, in the arena. Different competition against an unnamed returning TPGW talent. We've seen many returns and many debuts over the past couple of months. It is only a matter of time now to face Jericho. It's the opportunity to face just about every single one of them. One of them, a possible future signing at night Cross Chris Jericho in the World Championship Tournament, and but from what Carl Drogan understands, it is still not an official signing. So we will see if Nitro signs. If he does, we know that Chris Jericho will be there. Oh no, don't tell me. Carl Drogan knows this music. Is he here? Is he really here? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. It is Tijuana's favorite son, El Movino, returning to the People's Global Wrestling. The former two-time 229 champion. The crowd does not seem happy to see him. El Navino had the most championship defenses out of any 229 champion during his reign. He was the one who changed the championship, the Cruiserweight Championship, to a 229 title. Legitimize that division. Of course, losing the belt to Evan O'Shea at Revolution 4, but regaining it at Resurrection just before TPGW's abrupt end. Absolutely impressive to see Al Navino back in TPGW, and he will face the Demo God here. And here we go. Chris Jericho versus El Novino here in the arena. Carlo in elbow tie up. Novino has Jericho against the ropes. And there you see referee Blue Shoes separating the two. Jericho. Ooh. Control looking for the axe handle, but no knocking. Oh! Can get scissors take down from Novino. Seems he hasn't lost his steps since leaving TPGW completely in other places such as AWAC and SCAW. Strikes. Oh! It's Steve Neal. And they're running back elbow shot. That could very well be a shot in Jericho. Not quite as effective as the Judas effect, the greatest move in professional wrestling. It's a higher Morgan Eaton, I guess. Oh, but look at this. And Avino looking for the triangle hold, but Jericho. 
Your submission expert knows how to counter out but using a superior strength. Don't forget, Jericho is also a multi-decade veteran of professional wrestling compared to Lavinia, who has only been around in the past decade for only a few years. It certainly is going to be interesting to see how El Navino, the golden one, handles the demo god here tonight. And oh! Fighting now with the stiff elbows to the god. The Irish whip into the corner, and Navino, oh! Quick elbow, and now. A tiger faint kick, or a 619, depending on what company you like to watch. And off the ropes, looking for the frog splash, but Jericho got the knees up. An absolutely nasty maneuver. From the demo god. Look out, good cutter! Good El Novino. Maybe looking for that corkscrew moonsault if he hits it. This will be it for Jericho. And oh! He hits all of it. Now they cover. Two and. No! Jericho kicks out of two. Absolutely vicious assault from El Novino. And Jericho back on his feet. To the God Novino. They need the Hellraiser to put this one away. Ooh! Jericho knocked to the outside. This is not looking good. For the demo god El Navino has been an absolute machine. If anything, Jericho probably wasn't expecting Navino here tonight. Submission hold. Perhaps not. Oh, tying up the arm right there. Stretching it out. You run the risk of removing your opponent's arm from its socket. Oh. And now Navino sent to the outside. Jericho definitely proud of his accomplishment. But he can't give Navino any room to breathe. This man is a high flyer and a fast paced competitor. Again, Novino was also the younger and more energetic of the two competitors. Jericho is no slouch. But Novino has about 20 years on him as far as youth and versatility. Oh, but look out, Novino. Oh my goodness gracious, just dropping him down on top of his head. What we may be looking to see here is the beginning of the end for Jericho in this match. Another gold cut, Navino not wasting any time. This may be a mistake, Jericho had, may have this scouted this time. Of course, Gumo said, no, it hits its mark. I don't think Jericho's kicking out of a second. One, the two, and Navino returns with a victory. Absolutely impressive from El Navino here in the arena. Two gold cutters and two course to moon salts. He didn't even need the Hellraiser to put Chris Jericho away here tonight. Jericho is definitely going to need to get his momentum back, especially after AEW Revolution. As we look ahead to TBGW Revolution 5. Amino very met me well have a spot on that car, but we will have to see. Nonetheless, there is your winner, El Novino, here in the arena. I have been Carter Drop. See you next time. In my home, Japan, there is a legend. A vengeful spirit that will bring a life of torment and dread. That spirit is called the Onyo, Soul Reaper. I will become yours. I will make you bleed, I will make you beg, and I will make you scream for mercy. By the time I'm done with you, you will be on your hands and knees, begging for death. You're about to learn the main reason why I'm called the most dangerous man out of Japan, in the worst way imaginable.